Welcome in to Texans Today. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs. Today, we're going to be breaking down the Texans Week 9 matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if you missed my video yesterday, no, I did not get jumped by seven guys in the back of an alley. I, uh, I passed out and fell down and I hurt myself. That's why I didn't do a watch party last weekend. But on to better days. High spirits for NFL Week 9. And as we get started today, a uh, perfect transition to this question. Predict the score. Houston Texans versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let me know your score prediction down in the comments section. Maybe a little prize if you get it right. But you got to get your score predictions in before Sunday. So go down. Look into your crystal balls. Tell me what you think. What do you think the score of this matchup is going to be for Texans versus Bucks? Now, before we get started with anything else, of course, we got to look at the injury report. Robert Woods did not play last week. Not looking like he's going to play this week. The surprise one right here, Damian Pierce did not practice Wednesday, Thursday, and is trending to being out on Sunday. All signs are pointing to Damian Pierce being out this Sunday. Brevin Jordan also did not practice on Wednesday. You know, on the injury report, not looking good because Tegan Quatoriano, he is currently on IR. So it's Dalton Schultz, Brevin Jordan, Gadar Holman, DNP on Wednesday as well. And Sheldon Rankin's a good sign, though. Looks like he's going to be good to go geared up for Sunday. Limited on Wednesday, limited on Thursday as well. But is pro progressing. Whoa, that's, that's a tough word. Progressing towards playing this Sunday. But let's circle on back to Damian Pierce. Not the season that a lot of Texans fans expected from Pierce. The second-year player out of Florida. A lot of people had high hopes for him. He looked really good as a rookie last year. Didn't play in all 17 games, but still looked the part, looked physical, looked good in the games that he did play. This year has just not been able to get anywhere. Obviously, the Texans have a patchwork offensive line, but Pierce, he just has not been able to seem to find those holes and get the yards after contact that he did last year. So, Devin Singletary, who maybe has shown a little bit more pop in his runs so far this season. He's looking to be RB1 against the Bucks. I think Damian Pierce, he's going to be out this Sunday. And even if, even if he does play, it's going to be in a limited role with Devin Singletary taking the majority of snaps. Look to see a lot of Singletary, a lot of Boone this Sunday up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going to be your RB1, especially if you have fantasy. Maybe, maybe a little uh, sneaky pickup right before the Sunday matchups. Maybe pick up Devin Singletary. I think he'll have a decent game up against the Buccaneers. And speaking of the Buccaneers, here's their injury report. Not a lot of big names. The only one that really stands out to me are these two right here. Logan Hall and Tristan Wurst. Uh, Logan Hall, DNP on Wednesday. Matt Filer also a DNP on Wednesday. Tristan Wurst, limited, which I think Tristan Wurst, at the end of the day, he's going to play. But... Maybe you match Jonathan Grenard up against Tristan Wirfs. Grenard has had an amazing season so far. We'll talk about him later on in the show, but these are the major injuries for the Buccaneers going into this Sunday. Before we get to what to watch for, I just want to thank everybody who's subscribed to the channel so far, helping us be the fastest growing Texans YouTube channel out there. Really appreciate all of you for helping me Get this channel up and going. I know we have a dedicated group of fans already. And if you want to join them, get Texans videos every single day. The latest Texans news and rumors. Go, go, down, go down and hit that subscribe button right now or go to YouTube.com slash Texans TV. We're trying to get to 7K. A little bit away, but you can help me get there. Go down and hit that sub button right now. Now, what to watch for against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and... I mean, the first thing that I got to mention, which I think if you, anybody who's watched the channel before, anybody who's watched my videos before, they know. I'm a big CJ Stroud guy. But if we're all going to be honest, which that's what we do here, honesty is the best policy. CJ Stroud has not been good the past three games. I mean, if we look at his numbers, 57 completion percentage, 448 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, CJ Stroud. After those stellar couple games, he's kind of come back to earth a little bit. But that's what you expect from a rookie. I mean, he's not going to come out and just light it up every single game. He's got some bumps and bruises he's got to go through while he's making his NFL journey. But I think this could be a bounce-back game for C.J. Stroud. I mean, 
he, you know, hasn't really th- thrown picks. He hasn't turned over the ball. But one thing that I noticed last week that really was kind of the crux of this Texans offense, a lot of balls batted down at the line of scrimmage. And I think that might be due to C.J. Stroud locking in on one target and keeping his eyes on one target. Whenever you're staring a target down from start to stop, even if the tar- even if that wide receiver is open, the defensive line, the linebackers, they see that. They're following your eyes. A lot of times they're reading your eyes, especially if they're in zone coverage. So C.J. Stroud needs to be a little bit better at looking off his target and not being so, you know, predictable of where he's going to throw the ball during a play. He's got to... Mi- Make it a little bit more mystery. Maybe maybe get some crazy eyes going. I'm, I'm kidding. But I think C.J. Stroud bounce back game, that's something that you can look forward to against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we have some more things that you need to watch out for this Sunday. But before we do, got to show some love to the sponsor, my sponsor daddy, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. And it's prize picks. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. Prize picks is the most fun I've had, winning up to 25 times my money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stat types, and place your entry. Quick withdrawals and easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types is what makes prize picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. If you're wondering, I don't even know where to start. What, what, what picks do I make? What should I do? I got you covered. Don't worry, baby. I got you. These are my picks for this week. I'm going Bijan Robinson and Kyle Pitts. I'm going more on .5 touchdowns. They have a lot of combo deals, a lot of combos that you can do. So if either of these guys score a touchdown, we're good. Baker Mayfield, I'm going less on pass yards. I mean, this Texans defense, I think they're going to get after him. I think D'Amico Ryans, after a loss, after kind of a down week against the uh, Carolina Panthers, he's going to turn up the heat a little bit, him and Matt Burke. So I'm going less on Baker Mayfield pass yards. And OBJ, not looked, he hasn't looked very good in Baltimore so far. So I'm going less on his receiving yards. I just, going up against Seattle, I don't, I don't really see it. I'm going less on the receiving yards for Odell Beckham, but you can use my picks. You can fade my picks, but whatever you do with my picks, you dirty little monsters, whatever you do with them, go ahead and do it over at Prize Picks. And the best part about Prize Picks, in my opinion, one of the best parts is they have a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted prize picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy so go to prizepicks.com slash clns and use code clns for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars prize picks it's daily fantasy sports made easy now the next thing on what you need to watch for the offensive line we talked about it earlier this week on the uh on the channel but you know Jarrett Patterson on IR, not a good look for this Texans offensive line. Juice Scruggs, not back yet. I mean, he's been off IR for weeks, has not come back to practice. So that injury may be a little bit more serious than what we thought. So sliding in at the center position, Michael Dieter. He's a veteran. He's a guy who the Texans have had on and off the squad throughout the season. But do I have the most confidence in Dieter? Not necessarily. And the thing I'm looking for in this Texans offensive line, the awful running game. I mean, we can't put it all on Damian Pierce, like I said earlier in the show. I mean, the Texans are 30th in yards per carry this season in the NFL, with the longest run being 17 17 yards. So obviously the holes aren't there. So let me ask you this question. Be honest with me. And I'm not saying they're 100% to blame, but who do you think is the most to blame for this Texans' bad run game? Do you think it's the O-line? Do you think it's because they've been injured and not been able to give holes to the running backs? Type O. Do you think it's the running backs? They're just not hitting the holes right. They're just not be able to be dynamic enough. Go ahead and type R. Or if you think it's the scheme and the coaching, the offensive coach, I mean, Bobby Slowick, he's not you know calling plays. He's not drawing it up good. Go ahead and type C down in the comment section. Next up, the Texans secondary. And... They've been playing decent. I mean, 
uh, they didn't let up a ton of yards up against the Carolina Panthers last week, but you have a new beast this week with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They have Mike Evans, who is a wide receiver one, having another stellar year. Mike Evans, G-Town native. I mean, he is just amazing. 33 receptions, 507 yards, and five touchdowns this year. To go along with another semi-wide receiver one, what, what, chip, you, wide receiver 1B maybe, 1B, one, wide receiver 2. He's a good wide receiver, Chris Godwin. So the Texans, they're going to have their hands full this week with Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, Baker Mayfield. And that's why this next step I think is going to be very important. Another important thing to watch, that's the Texans' pass rush. They were able to get home six times last week against the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, it wasn't enough, but the pass rush has been improving I think this defense, it played their asses off last week against the Panthers. And one guy in particular, I just want to give his flowers, it's Jonathan Grenard. He was on my preseason players to watch, and it's because he's in a contract year. He's been very good for the Texans this season, leading the team with six sacks. Jonathan Grenard, he has been showing out. Somebody now who has not been showing out as much, starting a little slow, it's Will Anderson. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. But Will Anderson has not been able to kind of finish those pass rush moves. Has not been able to you know, get those sacks. He only has one sack on the season, which, like I'm saying, J.J. Watt, he didn't light up the stat book his rookie season either. So you got to give these guys time. But I'd really love to see a Will Anderson sack this weekend up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think if he's on it, if jo Jonathan Grenard's on it, if this defensive line can get after Baker Mayfield, it's going to – result in a Texans win because whenever you pressure Baker Mayfield whenever you make him distressed in the pocket good things are going to happen for this Texans defense that's all I have for you on today's show y'all are all real ones for making it to the very end of the video and if you did go down and spam those H's H-Town hold it down I appreciate every single person who clicked on this video and I extra uh, appreciate everybody who made it to the very end of today's video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, at Jeremy Chugs for the latest Texans news and rumors, the dankest memes out there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, get daily Texans videos for free, go to youtube.com slash Texans TV and subscribe today. Texans fans, have a great day.